Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the pre-deployment approval in your Azure DevOps release pipeline. This is super easy and important wherein a deployment is triggered and it won't go and get it deployed until unless the approver, either one or more of the approver approves it so that it deploys. This helps us to stop the accidental deployment to any of the environment. Come, let's get started. All right, on my screen. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up CI CD for the essential product API, which is sitting in the GitHub project. Okay, so for that release pipeline, I'm going to show you how to set up the pre-deployment approval process. Okay, so if you have not watched the CI CD video, please take a look at the previous video and let's go to the release pipeline of this. And you see this, there is something called a member kind of thing. This is the pre-deployment, that is the post-deployment. So if I click on the pre-deployment, this is called after release in manual. So let's do after release and you can see the one that I'm highlighting, pre-deployment approval. Once you enable that, it will ask you who are the approvers. And uh, right now, the approver itself is myself, which is a new user. And I can actually choose any of uh, the users, but unfortunately, I don't have any users. So if you end up in the same situation, how do you add the users? Let's take a look at how to add the users and that users we can bring up here. All right. So let's th let's do that. Let's click on the Azure DevOps. Let's leave it for a moment. Don't worry. We'll come back and in the down, there's something called settings, project settings under that click on users and here you can add the users who have access to this organization to this project okay so i'm going to add a user you see this this is a real user this is my my own email address i have a karthiktechblog.com website as well okay so i'm going to invite this user to this project and the uh, the organization now once i do this so there will be an email triggered okay so come let's see oh, what we have to do next so we have to go to the same project the tutorial project wherever as the ci pipeline is existing so click on the repos go to the pipelines under the release okay so click on the edit and uh, we will go to the exact place where we stopped so under here uh, you click on this user and then click on this uh, pre-deployment approval once it is enabled you see this now if we search for the user the new user that we added started appearing so once i have these two users there are a couple of things that you can do so you can say okay well, you know any order of these users can approve or only one user can approve whatever the requirement you can choose but i'm choosing just any one of the user approval is sufficient okay so once this is done uh, you can check this box the user requesting a release or uh, deployment pipeline should not approve so like i only rise and i should not approve by myself right so there are certain conditions you can read and based on what you like you can choose the condition and once that is done okay uh, all the setup for the pre-deployment is done and similarly you can do for the post deployment also so if you just enable that and if you start adding users in the post deployment approval so after the deployment is uh, approved for the pre-deployment it will get deployed and then you will start seeing the email for the next stage all right we don't need that so let's keep it simple save and create and release so once i create a release release 3 has been created click on the release 3 and like i said if you manually do this you have to deploy this so once you click on deploy now the approval process has come okay so if you see this there was an email triggered and it clearly says what was that so we were working on the release 3 that's why the release 3 has come so if you click on the link provided in the email it will take you here eventually you need to approve it once you approve it see if you click on view approval like i said it will eventually take you to the place exactly where we were so once you click on the approve it will deploy the uh, the content our website content to the website okay so that's how the approval process has been set up okay all right now the agent started kicked in and it is working it's on the pipeline so it's in progress and you can see the system is uh, doing its job so hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and i will respond to you thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and 
never forget to click on the bell icon.